most houses will have a router and you have a network provider like Spectrum or Southern Link, or you could even have that in your phone as a hotspot, but you're going to have an SSID. And an SSID is the name of your network, my network, for instance. And you've seen those before, like, like Starbucks, when you want to go connect. That's your SSID. And, of course, they also have a password. And that may be... You know, my password, my pass. So when you have your appliances, you have your washer, LG washer, and you may have an LG dryer like I do, and an LG fridge. They all have to connect to your router. So they can do their updates and you can order things and they can send you messages on the status. And the way you do that as you get it set up is you install the app on your phone. And when you turn it on, turn on the app and you say add a device with the little plus sign I showed you, so you connect to the refrigerator, well you hold down that Wi-Fi button in all these devices. For three seconds and then your app's going to connect to your actual device itself and when it connects to your device when you're on your app you enter in your my network that the rest of your house connects to your computers and other devices and your password my password and that app is going to send that over to this device and to this device, to this device, and then it'll disconnect. And then this app inside of its little electronics is going to restart, and now it's going to go out to this router and say, hey, I got the ID, the SSID. Also another name is your Wi-Fi signal ID for more basic users. But once they get that over here, then they can go out and connect to the LG servers up here over your internet provider. So your app, when you add a device, you give it the name and password of your signal, your router, SSID, and then it sends it here, disconnects, and now this can go online. And so most of the time, when you're using your app to monitor these devices or to control them, you're not going on this signal anymore. You're going to your router up to LG and then these are all connecting so you connect through your devices through your app through the LG servers all right went to the app store and installed the app let's open it up see what it looks like get some little introductory messages control your home make a smart home out of it just pass through there and now it's time to sign in. You can sign in with an LG account. Go to LG.com, create an account, or you can use your Google or Facebook IDs. I have an LG account, and I'll sign in with that. And then just put in an email ID and password that you have registered with LG. And you'll see some more information. You can add your phone number. I didn't add mine, so I'm going to skip that. and give it access to your location and now you'll see LG Home pop up have a washer defined I'm going to add a couple other devices a dryer and a refrigerator so we can look through the app real quickly to see what's in here it's got some nice features you can look at monthly insights get some smart tips monthly insights, you've got information on air purifiers, wash towers, different offers, so a little bit of marketing information in here, got some recipe information, um, a few other things, there's a few shortcuts to go to smart diagnosis, frequently asked questions, you can connect with support in here, and you know a little bit of advertising, 
stuff on allergies, a little bit of information on how to use the devices, so it's a pretty packed application. Notice is an update to user guides, so it's nice to have. You can auto replenish information or products rather. If you're going to order them that way, you can go directly to the store. And so they keep improving the app. And what's this little guy do right here? Oh yes, this allows you to open up a chat bot to search for things. I messed around with it. I don't know if it eventually gets to a real person or not, but it allows you to ask questions to try to find something. And this is a history of notifications. Now I have had other devices already registered. I deleted them so I can show you actually how to re-register them again. But you can see a history of notifications. We'll talk more about that later. Okay, we've got a new refrigerator, double-sided LG LHX, LHSX 2706S. We're going to connect to it. Okay, we're going to add a device. And it says scan QR attached to the device to add the device or we can do it manually. Let's try scanning that QR code. It's a little blotch right there. You should see it inside your refrigerator somewhere. Okay. Let's click the QR code. I want to take pictures. There's my little code back there. Found it. And add the device. Make sure it's plugged in. So it found the model number. Let's add the device. Twenty-five percent. You're going to enter the SSID and password to your router. The app will give that to your LG appliance. Okay, I entered my SSID and password to my router. After you scan the QR code, add the device, make sure the power cord is plugged in. Let's add device. Press and hold the Wi-Fi button for three seconds. The button may be inside, okay? So now we're going to hold this button here for three seconds. All right. We did that. You can see the Wi-Fi is blinking. Hit next. Keep it close to the refrigerator. Select connect when a pop-up appears. So the app is communicating now with the refrigerator. It's giving your home network SSID and the Wi-Fi ID of your home network and the password. It's adding device 90%. Congrats. Your device has been added. I'll just call it refrigerator. We'll edit that later maybe. Go uh home. -huh. There we go. Refrigerator's on. On the wash dry tower, turn both units on. Press and hold the Wi-Fi button for three seconds and then proceed to connect the app as I showed you before. Sometimes you may try the wi top Wi-Fi button or the bottom Wi-Fi if you're having difficulties. Not sure why that happens, but you should see a connection uh, as I showed you. On the washer, turn the power on, and then you hold that Wi Fi button for three seconds to press it. And you'll see that it's ready to connect. 
similarly on the dryer it's running now but you have that on put it on and you hold that for three seconds and then your Wi-Fi will blink connected notice that when it is connected the little Wi-Fi signal is solid and you'll notice the refrigerator's on it's always on but the dryer washer right here is off because it's off that does mean devices that typically are on and then off like washers and dryers for the app to work they have to be in powered on cycle whereas the refrigerator is a device that always stays on hopefully so you can come in here make some settings with little sliders on the refrigerator temperature if you want to Ref the freezer temperature you can turn on ice plus which is extra ice production mode for a short period of time uh, smart care not used analyzes the surrounding the area surrounding appliance and your usage pattern in order to optimize refrigerator maintenance starts the cooling function automatically carry expected heavy periods okay I'm going to leave that on and see what happens economic care starts automatically based on usage patterns so maybe higher or lower depending on actual use conditions okay take a look and see how smart it is after a while so not too big a deal adjust brightness not used I'll show you how that works that allows you to during its set time period the interior refrigerator lighting is dim to first at first to give your eyes time to adjust so you do that from sunset to sunrise so it's not going to be as bright or from 9 to 6 let's try that one that's better sunsets too early okay and it'll go down to 30 percent power of the light let's save that it doesn't glare too much there is a sabbath mode it's kind of interesting it allows you to turn it on for up to 96 hours it'll shut down fans and lights and other parts of the unit it's not really clear in the manual which parts, but it allows people who observe the Sabbath uh, to control their electricity that way. Okay, so I'm not going to turn that on right now. Craft Ice, it's, it's already sending me notifications from the refrigerator up through the servers at LG back down on my phone. Craft Ice is. Um, three or six pieces of ice a day that's nice when it's three they freeze differently and the ice is clearer when it's six same size but it's a bit more opaque so we'll put it on that size you can do smart grid items with this if your energy provider electricity provider if your system is online and it connects to whatever your electricity provider allows it can you know come in and manipulate your device we don't have that where I live and so I guess this is related to um, yeah when enabled the freezers defrost will occur outside of the four-hour period this reduces consumption during peak hours so useful features manage food so you can create an inventory if you want to of what's in the refrigerator freezer that's kind of nice I mean I don't know it takes it takes some work it would be nice to be able to send a text message to yourself to LG to have this updated otherwise you need to come in here and you know add cheese and then you know soggy old cheese and location when it starts and stops so it's a complete inventory system um, I think for us it's going to be a little cumbersome to use because we come home from a grocery store with five bags of groceries I don't think anybody wants to sit here and type everything in 
but you know maybe it's good for the freezer in particular because things get lost in the freezer over time so that's a nice feature you have filter management water filter looks good um, yeah so to ensure you're getting general as far as your filters directly from the store okay you can go in and change things related to the store your serial number information is in there whatever I'm not gonna do that I'll wait for the light to come on and tell me to change it and then I'll go find one there's energy monitoring how much energy it's using how many times the door's been open and you can do smart diagnosis on it I'm not gonna run that but I guess we'll get it started so oh, that's kind of cool Temperature is good, sensor, fan, motor, etc. That's nice. It's like diagnosing a car. You can get to customer support. Yes, help me, I guess. Okay, so back in the app again. So that's what it provides. In the so if you look on this LG washer, now it's in standby mode versus off. So I'm getting ready to start it. Now, the app, what's available is different, of course, for this device. Its default is normal wash mode. You can pick whatever mode you want to have. It kind of tells you what the temperature, spin, soil is. This is a smart washer, so it'll sense weight and do some smarter things when we wash clothes to save us energy and water. And you can actually turn it on remotely if you want. And uh, so you can download a cycle that, in addition to the fixed cycles on that washer, it allows you to download one of these cycles and only one of those. And there's a hard button on the washer. So if I was going to pick one of these cycles, I would come over whatever that one I downloaded. That's the downloaded cycle. That would come up and run here operationally. When the air quality level is unhealthy, turn on air cleaning appliances. Well, that's kind of cool. If you have other things that'll start filtering your house, keep the air indoor fresh. When you get home, arrive to fresh indoor air. Leaving the house, forgot to unload the laundry, get a notification when the cycle is done. Let's see what make your own does on the routines. If then. So, yeah, you can see you can pick different times every day. I'm sure that allows you to change the time if you want to. Yep, you can set up some timing of when you want things to happen, whoops. And, oh, so there's a lot of ifs you're gonna use. If this condition is true, weather, location, device, status, then, whoops, sorry. Then you have a set of actions you can pick from. Control devices, set notifications, 